I don't have time to learn how to do videos and to create video content. And I always tell them, you don't have time not to. So I'm gonna show you all the different things that you can do with a video and there are plenty more. So this is probably one of my favorite videos to record and to tell people. So people will often say, I don't have time to learn how to do videos and to create video content. And I always tell them, you don't have time not to. So I'm gonna show you all the different things that you can do with a video and there are plenty more. Here's the thing, depending on how new you are to the program, you may or may not want to do all of these, but here's all the possibilities that you have with video and all the different things that you can do with them. And so we'll go ahead and get into the training. And then I do want to just remind you that don't get overwhelmed or nervous. Don't feel like you have to do everything. You're just gonna do what you're comfortable doing. And, and we'll, we'll have, we'll, I'll just say that. So start with doing for sure, number one, the most important place for you to put any of your videos are going to be running ads on Facebook. Also uploading the videos to YouTube, just so you can start showing up in searches on YouTube and putting them on your website. If you put the video on your website and the transcription on your website, as well as the video on YouTube, you're gonna start getting SEO, search engine optimization for the videos and for the written words. And Google owns YouTube. So the number one search engine in the world, YouTube is owned by Google. So Google likes when you put videos on YouTube and it's gonna help you both ways. Also, Google likes your website to have video content on it. So it will then promote you higher in the search rankings and you can organically get higher rankings on Google, the number one most commonly searched website if you do those things. So. Right away, you wanna learn for sure to run your ads because then you're getting exposure. If you create video content and you're not running ads behind your videos, the only people who are seeing them are your mom, your dad, your brother, and your dog, right, Pepper? We want everyone else in your community to see you all the time, over and over and over again. Well, Krista, how much money do I spend? It depends on how much money you have, what your marketing budget is, and how quickly you wanna see results. But we find most of the time, people spend around $250, $300 a month on all their videos two to three dollars a day per video, something similar to that. And then they quickly see how their results and they'd like to start to increase their budget. Our students that are really crushing it, you know, doing hundred plus homes a year, they're typically spending around $1,200 to $2,000 a month on their, on their Facebook marketing budget towards getting their videos out there for exposure. Don't let that freak you out. It's a good thing that they're spending that much because they have the money to do so because the program has worked so well for them. So you will get there. So start where you can. Okay, so let's talk about video repurposing. And this is why it's so important because repurposing maximizes the potential reach and effectiveness of your video content across multiple channels. And it gives you higher SEO, search engine optimization. Not only does this make, um, help make the most of your investment, but it also has the added benefit of boosting the original content itself. So you can take that content and that you can put it in multiple places. So it, it's really helpful for your time. So here are the different steps, okay? Take a picture of this. We're gonna go over each one individually. I will have my team also, you know, take this and put this on a PDF. So you'll have a PDF of this below to show you exactly what you can do. Again, num the first thing that you wanna make sure that you do is you wanna do number one, no matter what, number two, no matter what, number four, no matter what, and you also want to do number eight, no matter what, right? You wanna make sure you get the video and the transcription on there as well. All right, so let's go ahead and go over each one of these. So the first step is to record a video and then you're gonna get that video transcribed using HappyScribe or um, Rev.com or any other transcription service that you might be wanting to use. We do have an affiliate link with, with um, Rev.com, so I'll make sure if you do use Rev, you can use the affiliate link and then they'll give me a few cents on that when you do that, but you don't feel like you need to or you're obligated to. Then you're going to run an ad in the ads manager or through Whitley on Facebook. So you're gonna take that video, you're gonna create an ad, you're gonna get that video out there and get it massive exposure to your community. That is an essential must that you need to do because you want to get those videos to have exposure. Even if you're new and it's uncomfortable, get them out, get them out there. Some exposure that is perfectly imperfect is better than none. Remember progress over perfection all the time. Then you can take that video. Now you've posted on your business page, 
you post it on your personal page, you've ran an ad behind it on Facebook. Now, if you want, you can take, you know, a snippet of the video and you can put it on Instagram. Then you can post it on YouTube. Remember, YouTube is the world's second largest search engine next to Google. Google owns YouTube and they like it when you market your videos on to YouTube and it is linked. So you will get higher SEO and the video never goes away on YouTube and it doesn't go away on Google. So it's you'll get organic reach. So it's really, really important. Then you're gonna take your video and your transcription, make sure you read the transcription so it doesn't sound funny. You're gonna put the video onto your website because again, you want to get more search engine optimization. This is how we help people rank higher on Google. And then also you're going to want to, you can do a TikTok video of it, right? Again, again on, on, on TikTok, on Instagram, on any other service, make sure you follow their guidelines as far as you know requirements, length and all that so it can actually work for you. Google what the requirements are, not difficult at all. And they change all the time. That's why I'm not saying it on here <laughs> because right now I think TikTok is around 60 seconds, but tomorrow that might be 45 or it might be 30 because these things change so often. So just Google that. Then you're going to take that transcription. You're going to do a long form post on Facebook, put it on your business page, put it on your personal page. So now you can reach people that like to read, put some emojis on there. Not too many emojis. Try to put the emojis on the end of the sentence. Again, not too many or Facebook might flag it. Just use a couple and don't replace words with it. Also, anytime you have any kind of transcription, make sure you, you don't do any more than two to three sentences. You like to see spaces. When somebody sees a big, huge, long paragraph, they tend to not want to read it. So make sure you just have smaller sentences with spacing and, and a few emojis to make it look nicer. Then you're gonna post the written transcription on your website. So now you've got the video on your website and the transcription on your website as well. Then you can take those videos that you have. And what I tell my team to do is take the videos, put them in your phone. So if somebody calls you and it's a buyer or seller, send them a market update. If it's a buyer asking a question about a property, send them something about, you know, um, about uh, deposits or about five best tips when buying a house or a seller, three best tips to maximize your investment. Um, if you're a home inspector, think about what videos that you have on home inspections. It doesn't matter what realm of real estate that you're in. If you're a mortgage broker, doing a market update on interest rates or just doing a market update on anything with your with a realtor is a great thing to send a prospective person who's thinking about getting uh, a loan, right? It's taking these videos now, having them on your phones, so you can send them off to people, putting them in your monthly newsletters, giving them to your, your prospects, giving them to past clients, taking them and utilizing them and getting them out there. So when people say to me that they don't have time, again, I'm gonna read this again. Repurposing maximizes the potential reach and effectiveness of your video content across multiple channels and it gives you higher SEO. You're gonna show up more where people are looking and it gives you a higher return on your investment of time and money from doing them. So when people tell me, I don't have time to do a video, I say, you don't have time not to because in order for you to be known, you've gotta be seen, you've gotta be heard. Be known, be seen, be heard, right? But to be known, gotta be seen, we gotta be heard. So we've gotta properly distribute these videos. So we are getting the maximum return on investment. So we are getting proper exposure and we're committing to consistently produce content correctly so we can make a connection to convert more clients and customers in our community. That is the whole idea around this. We wanna be seen where people are searching. Where are people searching? According to the National Association of Realtors, 97% of people start their home search online, okay? So, and remember, According to National Association of Realtors, also buyers and sellers start their home search three to six months prior and they're going online to do so. So you want to be showing up where they're looking, when they're looking, not when they want to buy a house and they're calling 15 realtors. You want to be showing up, educating them, positioning yourself as the authority, you know, develop, breaking down their barriers, showing that you're the expert beforehand so you have a higher chance of converting. All right and then referring you and talking about you and all that great stuff. So I will see you on the next video. This is about video repurposing, taking your content, getting out there as much as possible. And I'll see you. Hey there, I have a brand new podcast called Fired Up with Krista Mayshore, where I bring my high energy right to your ears. This podcast is available on all your favorite podcast platforms. So do me a favor, go subscribe and leave a review. All this information is free and I cannot wait to teach you everything I know. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.